I built an AI agent that orders me pizza, and the most impressive thing is that I gave it very high level instructions. I didn't have to hard code, click this, click that. It's using multimodal capabilities to understand what's on my web page and think through a plan of how to accomplish ordering a pizza. Here's the AI agent in action, and then I'll talk through how to build something like this. Okay, so the first thing it's going to do is open DoorDash and go to the page of my favorite pizza shop called Lucky Slice, and it's gonna analyze analyze what it sees on the web page here. I'm gonna open the terminal so you can kind of see the agent's thought process. It knows I need to open Lucky Slice Pizza on DoorDash, place an order for cheese pizza. Okay, it's navigated to the page. It found the cheese pizza, large, just cheese. And now it's gonna to try to add it to the cart, right? Next goal, add the pizza to the cart by clicking the appropriate button. Okay, so click the button with that index. And now you can see it in my cart over here uh, where it says 19, there's actually one item in the cart, which is the cheese pizza. Okay, now the next goal is to open the order cart to proceed with checkout for the large Just Cheese Pizza. So you can see it in my cart here. It's gonna try to click continue. Okay, index 31 clicked, that was continue, and now we're at the checkout page. This pizza place isn't actually open right now, so it'll be interesting to see if it schedules it for later. All right, so here it's analyzing the page. It's trying to figure out how to check out, but the store is actually closed, okay. So now it's trying to schedule the order for later. Okay, that's choosing 12.50 to 1.10. Let's see what else it's thinking. Okay, and then the last step is to click place order. So we'll see if it does that and then I will need to cancel the order. Oh no, it's clicking it. I'll need to cancel the order uh, right after it does that. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> order scheduled. So the, the AI agent went all the way from like browsing this pizza places menu, placing the order, choosing a, a delivery time in the future, and then uh, placing the final orders. And you can see it here, task completed successfully. The result uh, is that the large Just Cheese pizza from Lucky Slice was successfully scheduled for delivery today between 12.50 and 1.10 p.m. on DoorDash. All right, let me cancel this. Now let's talk about what it takes to actually build this. So I'm using an open source library here called browser-use. It's a free open source library that makes websites accessible for AI agents. The neat thing about it is that the agent can control your local browser on your computer where you're already logged into a bunch of accounts. Obviously this makes it incredibly powerful and so I never run this type of tool without supervising it. The other really neat thing is the very high level instruction that we gave the agent and it was able to think and plan its next steps, take actions to achieve its next steps, and then reflect on what happened and whether those actions resulted in moving closer to the goal. So you can see here in the task description, it's very bare bones. I just said open Lucky Slice Pizza on DoorDash, which I probably didn't have to specify, right? And place an order for cheese pizza. And then I put a link to my, one of my favorite pizza places in the area. And that's pretty much it. I didn't tell it you need to click the red button that says checkout, or you need to order specifically the name of the pizza. I didn't even tell it to schedule the delivery in advance, right? It figured that out from analyzing the web page at that time using multimodal capabilities. For this demo, I'm just using ChatGPT 4.0, but you can use an open source multimodal LLM as well. And the code up here is just to configure the browser to connect to your local Chrome browser. And the key thing to make sure this works is to ensure you have no other Chrome browsers open when you launch the agent. Okay, I'll put this code in my newsletter in the video description if you want to just copy paste it. So the first thing you're going to do is clone this open source GitHub repo. So go to this link github.com slash browser dash use slash browser dash use click this green button code. If you're technical, you already know, go to SSH and use a password protected SSH key, copy this URL to clipboard and then open your terminal. If you're not technical, you're probably going to use this HTTPS clone using the web URL, click copy URL to clipboard. And then on a Mac, you're gonna wanna open terminal or iTerm, create a separate folder for all of your technical projects. So if you type um, ls, that will show you kind of your directory structure. I have a folder called dev where I put random projects and stuff. So to create a new directory, just say make 
MK, dare means make directory, agents, AI agents, development, tech, whatever it is. Once you make that directory, then you're wanna go, gonna go into that directory. So click CD, it stands for change directory, CD agents, okay? Once you're in that directory, you wanna type git clone and then paste the URL here that we got from the website, okay? And this is gonna copy this open source project over to your computer in that directory that you just made. Okay, then cd browser dash use to go into the open source repo you just cloned. And scroll down here to the quick start, which basically walks you through how to set it up. I don't wanna to be too prescriptive here because I think it is a really important skill to be able to look at this and ask ChatGPT for help, how to install this thing. Try copying this and then pasting it into your terminal. Uh, if it doesn't work, it means you need to install pip first. And if you don't know how to do that, the best resource is to ask ChatGPT or DeepSeek to walk you through it step by step. Once you've installed pip, this command should now work, so copy paste it into your terminal. Okay, once that's done running, installing stuff, go to step two, which is playwright install. So copy paste that over here, right? And again, if you run into any errors, like don't be overwhelmed, just take a screenshot of what it says, drop it into ChatGPT or DeepSeek, and ask how can you troubleshoot it. So it'll just walk you through it step by step. This part, spin up your agent. You can copy this example here, but more realistically, you're probably gonna want my example. I'll have this code that you can copy paste from my newsletter in the YouTube video description, or you can just take a screenshot right now and drop it into ChatGPT and ask it to type out what the code says. Make a new file, touch to create a new file, and then let's just say test.py. The py extension is important because that means it's a Python file, open test.py in some kind of text editor. Visual Studio Code is pretty easy to use. Open the file that you just made and then copy paste the code that I'm showing you, hit save. And the last step is to add your open AI API key to create a new file, touch.env. It stores your environment variables, like your API keys and stuff that you don't want to share publicly. You want to keep them private. And then open up that .env file in Visual Studio Code and copy paste this, open AI underscore API key, and just paste your key here, right? And once you do that, just click save, then you'll be good to go. So when you're ready to run everything, it's super easy, Python, and then whatever your test file is. If it's test.py or order pizza.py, all you have to do is run it. Just make sure all of your Chrome browsers are closed uh, because this is going to launch a new Chrome browser and manipulate it. So go ahead and close all your browsers and launch this. In my case, it's called uh, Python uh, order pizza. I just wanted to point out different things you can see in the logs. So basically at each step, you're going to see like what the agent is thinking and planning, the action that it's going to take, and then what happens after the action. The agent's going to reflect on it and decide, did I do this successfully or do I need to course correct? And the really neat thing about agents is that they're kind of thinking and planning dynamically in real time. Like I didn't tell it to schedule the order in advance because the store was closed. It was able to analyze what it saw visually on the web page and say, say, hey, the next logical step is to place an order for a future time since the store is closed now. In fact, I, I don't specify any of that. And that's really the power of agents, real-time dynamic decisions like that with the information at hand. And there could be surprises. So can the AI agent kind of course correct and think through what the next logical step would be? And I wanna make a distinction here. This is not a hard-coded workflow. The only information it has is to open Lucky Slice Pizza on DoorDash and place an order for cheese pizza. Yet it was able to navigate a fairly complex website like DoorDash. A lot of different things going on, a lot of images, a lot of buttons that you could click. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'm happy to make more videos like this. I'm Sabrina Romanov. Thanks for watching.